Hello everybody, this is Yoko Anime Reactions and this is going to be my review for One Punch Man Episode 8. I think I'm planning on recording all the reviews for Episode 8 until the finale and then I can finish, you know, editing 11 and 12 because I think that's the only thing I've left when it comes to uh, videos I haven't edited yet for One Punch Man because I have 8, 9, and 10 already done. That way, when I can upload them, I'll upload them. And that will be one less thing for you know, me to worry about. Will I pick up One Punch Man Season 2, though? Um... I was planning on doing so. Because there's only two seasons of One Punch Man. But considering my plans that I just talked about in my last video... I am not sure. I might pick it up once I finish, uh, I uh, think once I finish, I don't know, I just, I'll pick it up eventually, I just don't know when. Anyway, uh, this episode is when the Deep Sea King and his minions decided to show up. I don't know what's up with all the monsters and everything, just wanting to show up out of the blue. But... They do. Uh, anyway, we got some heroes trying to stave off the incoming invasion, because that's essentially what they're after, is to take over Surface World. And like I said, I don't know what is up with everybody wanting to take over the Surface World for. Anyway, uh... The first hero that takes them on actually takes out all the attackers except the Deep Sea King. He tries and he's um, promptly defeated. Not killed, but he is essentially rendered unconscious. An electric hero, I don't remember what his name is, he was just sitting there watching this whole thing wondering if he needed to wait for backup or not because the threat level, I think, was at Tiger, and now I think it has been raised at this point to Demon. I don't know... Uh, by this point when it's raised to Demon, Momon Rider is actually heading there, but some of the other heroes stop him and tell him, yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to do anything against this guy. The threat level's at Demon. Any level C... Any, uh, level C heroes are not gonna stand a chance. <laughs> they never met Saitama yet. <laughs> He's the one level C hero that could, that can, you know, take this guy out. But, Momon Rider doesn't care. He just keeps on going. Anyway, the guy is sitting there contemplating, should I wait for backup? And then he looks over, the guy is gone, and he appears right freaking behind him, and the guy was so shocked that he just lost control of his voice and just says, uh, 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 essentially did that. And I just laughed at it because I thought it was freaking funny. And he also ends up getting his butt kicked, but he is saved from falling to his death by somebody else. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is his full hero name. Porty Porty Prisoner? I don't know if that's uh, his full name or if it's just Porty Porty, I don't know, but... The guy is giving me off a gay vibe and considering what he says he's in prison for, that kind of is confirmed. Considering, um, I don't know if he ended up raping anybody, but he, I don't know if he essentially assaulted some guys, but he can't control himself around guys, around good looking guys. And when he shows up, Speed of Sound Sonic shows up. I also have him broken out of prison. Well, Porty Porty Prisoner decides he's gonna take out this guy. Nope, uh, not even when he's naked. <laughs> nope, nope, that doesn't happen. And... <sighs> Speed of Sound Sonic decides, well, I'll take a crack at this guy, he's strong. I'll take him down. He doesn't. He ends up getting his clothes ripped off in the ensuing fight, and he's like, I'm out, I can't take this guy yet. And he runs off naked, runs into Genos, Tells him essentially, yeah, you guys have no chance against this guy. And the guy gets stronger, actually, because it started raining. And I assume he was at his weakest when he was fighting the first guy, because... 
he was all shriveled up and when the water came the rain came it uh, moistened him back up to where how it, I guess it's full power and it's at this point that both Saitama and Genos were heading there because you know Saitama wants a good fight and it was Genos's duty as a hero obviously and well Saitama's as well but Saitama's still just looking for a good fight that'll keep that'll keep him going in more than one punch and uh, the Deep Sea King actually finds uh, the air, the dome where everybody else is hiding because they weren't able to evacuate, and starts attacking there. And there are actually some heroes there that try to help, but to no avail. They all get injured badly. And one of them is actually the snake attacking guy that was the teacher at the hero registry that tried to attack Saitama but got one punched. Yeah, him. He got one punch. He got essentially his butt kicked as well. And Momon Rider is actually talking to the hero association and he ends up riding off without, without his phone and Saitama actually finds it and hears what's going on. And he's like, I gotta go. So, oh boy. Yeah, this isn't going well for some of the heroes. I understand they want to help and, you know, make sure that everybody is safe, but this guy is on a whole other level. Oh, and what is a My Mask doing with all this going on? He's a level S hero, or a class S hero. What's he doing? Oh, he's promoting his new song on the news. Oh no, he doesn't want to get his hands dirty and fight. What do you guys think of that guy? I don't really like him, to be completely honest. Anyway, he only seems to want to be a hero when it's convenient for him. Especially considering um, how episode 12 goes. Anyway, I'll get to work on editing this, and I will see everybody next time.